In this tutorial, we're going to look at the paragraph features on the home ribbon as part of document formatting in a word processor. In this case, the word processor being used is Microsoft Word 2016. If we click on our home ribbon, on our home tab, and access our home ribbon, we will see our paragraph feature or the paragraph area of the ribbon. By clicking on the bottom right corner, which is the paragraph launcher button, we are going to be launched into the paragraph dialog box. This dialog box allows us to do everything that we can access from the ribbon. In this case, we can change our indents and spacing. We can also change our line and page breaks. So let's look at some simple paragraphing features. The first feature we're going to look at is alignment. On the ribbon, we have our alignment icons, which are left align, center align, right align, and fully justified. So this, the alignment being used here is our left align. The alignment, this is left align. When we justify, take note of what has happened at our right margin. Here we can see when compared with paragraph two, we have a jagged right margin, but in paragraph one, we have a right margin and a left margin that begin, that have a one inch left and right margin. And here our lines end evenly. If we click center alignment, each line is centered between our left and right margin. If we click right align or right alignment, our lines are aligned to the right. So for the first paragraph, we're gonna change that to a fully justified paragraph. And here we are going to look at our line spacing. This paragraph is typed in single line spacing, meaning that there's a line, each line is a line of text and there is one clear line of space between paragraphs as we see here. If I were to change my line spacing, so let's leave paragraph one at single line spacing and I'm gonna change paragraph two, our line spacing, let's change it to two and he, or double line spacing. So here we can see the difference between single line spacing and double line spacing. Double line spacing is basically a line of text, skip a line, a line of text, skip a line. And we would remember from primary school where our teachers would say, skip a line. So this is an example of skipping a line, which is double line spacing. Remember, all these features can be accessed from the dialog box as well. So under line spacing here, we see double and we can change it back to single 1.5, specify at least exactly or multiple line spacings. So let's change that back to single and click OK. And here we can see our line spacing changed back to single, single line spacing. We can change our text from a flowing body of text two bulleted text points and here we have none applied and we have several options for applying bullets here and let's choose one so here we have a paragraph at the start of the paragraph we have a bulleted point if i would like to make every line of this paragraph a bulleted point i simply go at the start of the line and click and hit enter on my keyboard. Let's assume that none of this information was typed before, but I would like to start a bullet, a bulleted section of my text. I simply start the bulleted point and then type enter and it would automatically format the document so that the bullet points appear one after the other. 
if I no longer would like a bulleted point to appear, I switch and go back to none. And here, this would take me back to the margin. So here we can see an indent. It automatically indents the bulleted point and the information associated with the bulleted point. We can see these changes on the ruler. If you look carefully here, there is no left indent. The left margin at this point is one inch. Take notice of the ruler at this point. So this is what we would normally refer to as a hanging indent where the bullet point is typed at one indent and then it automatically formats the text to the other indent. So here we have the start, first line indent, and then we have the left indent. And that's automatically done once we select our bulleted points. It is the same for new numbered items or enumerated items. We click on the numbers tab or the numbers icon. And let's say we no longer would like bullets, we would like numbers. And you can specify the type of setting you would like, whether it be Roman, Roman numerals or letters, ABC, etc. or other Arabic numerals or Roman numerals, okay? So the numbers tab allows us to number our list, Give us gives us an enumerated list when formatting. We can change our list levels. We can define our number formats, stating here the number style, the type of font, etc. that we want. And we can also when we look at the enumerated list, set our numbering value. So if I do not want this line to start at one, I could start that number value at four. Okay, so let me just undo that. Numbering allows us several options as well as bullets. Here you can see text highlighted in two different colors or filled with two different colors. This was done using the fill feature on the paragraph tab. So we can use the fill feature in much the same way as we used, as we can use the highlight feature on the font tab. Another important part of this document formatting is the type and appearance of our headings and our styles. So for example, let me just remove the bullets from this paragraph. And here we can access several heading styles for our headings. So each heading that we click on will give us the particular style of that heading as you are seeing the changes as we go along. So we have title, subtitle, subtle emphasis, emphasis, etc. And these heading styles are important for formatting the document when we intend to create a table of contents. Heading styles can be modified, sorry. So let's say that I would like heading style number one to not appear as it is shown here. I can click in the launcher button styles and change it to any other heading that I would like and to modify it I right click in this area and select modify. Modifying the heading style will allow me to change the appearances of the heading in terms of the formatting, size, font style, color and it even allows me to rename it and it gives me the option to add the style to the gallery automatically update use this style only in this document or use this style as new documents based on this template and we want to leave it as only in this document and click ok so anywhere we click and select heading one the font 
color, size, and all the cheat modifications we have made to that heading will apply. So we have looked at the paragraph features and the styles features of the Microsoft Word, Word processing application. And we looked at bullets, numbering, alignment, changing the line spacing, shading particular bodies of text and applying heading styles and modifying heading styles if we need to modify those heading styles.